Hola mi gente, bienvenido a mi canal. Today we are going to talk about When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. And I may have said his name wrong, so apologies to his family in advance. So When Breath Becomes Air is the memoir of a neurosurgeon, neuroscientist, who is diagnosed with a terminal illness, which is lung cancer. What this book essentially does is walks us through his journey and experience with death. First, being curious about it as a young person, whether that be in literature or coming from a family full of doctors, then him eventually going into the medical field himself and his experience with understanding and conceptualizing death there and guiding his patients through the process of whether or not they should stay alive or determine whether or not the life that they would live would be worth it beyond their medical conditions, right? Or living with their medical conditions, um, whether or not they would have a great quality of life and if they should choose to terminate life. And all of this is very abstract for him until he himself is diagnosed with lung cancer. What makes this book capable of being so universally well received is that we all know that one day we will face death, right? And we all are aware of terminal illnesses that may happen and how they significantly shift your quality of life, your standard of living, and what you may have planned for your future. The story itself is sad because you know from the onset that he won't make it, that he's going to die. But it's his approach to death and his willingness to even live within death and to leave something behind that transcends death, which is something that writing does, is both inspiring and carries the book along. That's basically the summation of the book. He does die before he finishes the book. And you feel that once you get to the end of the book, you definitely feel that it's unfinished, even though it ends on a beautiful note with him having a message for his daughter. What happens beyond that during the epilogue is his wife steps in and she kind of tells us more about his experience and his journey that he may not have shared because he focused so heavily on sharing it from a medical point of view, which is something that I really appreciated about this book as someone who hasn't really studied medicine um, other than being a patient or dating someone who's in the medical field then like my experience to it is very uh, limited. Well, that and Grey's Anatomy, but <laughs> outside of that, it's pretty limited. So the ability to step into it from the position of a doctor and have that mindset and to kind of walk through it was really enlightening for me and I really enjoyed that aspect of the book. But yeah, so his wife steps in and she tells us more about his character and who he was and how he loved his friends and who he was as a brother, as a son, as a father, as a husband, just different aspects of himself that he may not have shared as he was running out of time and he wanted to send a specific message and include pertinent information. That's what we get in the book. Many of you may have heard of this book. It was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize and it's just a book that I feel is unique in the way that, of which it the way in which it approaches death and analyzes it and shares it with the reader. Um, and also just, it really highlights um, the human ability to like persevere and overcome. What's also unique about this, I think, is the willingness to make a hard decision when it's time. Um, and I just think that it was a, it was a good book. Um, this one's a little hard because it's such a personal story um, and how do you critique someone's personal um, story. But obviously what I'm not analyzing here is his story, but the telling of it. And I think that it was a good book. I definitely think that it's worth reading. I'm glad I took the time out to read it. It was captivating. The writing was well done. You could tell that he was a fan of words and literature. Um, and I think that that showed throughout. Like I said, I really liked being carried away into another world and into the medical world specifically and having a deeper level of knowledge there. Would I read it again? Yes. Would I recommend it to a friend? Yes. Am I recommending it to you all? Yes. On a scale of A to F, what would I give this book? I would give it an A. I would give it an A. Um, 
yeah, I think for what it is and how it could have been so specific to a certain subset of people, which is those in the medical, which would be individuals in the medical field, it doesn't do that. It tells a story universally. Um, it tells it well. It captivates the reader. And it carries you throughout. And the abrupt ending is obviously due to death, but his wife does step in and she ends it in a way that ties it all together with a beautiful bow. And I think that it was well done. Um, and I think that for all of us, it greatly relates to the human condition. Um, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I actually um, shared it with someone. I read bits of it um, to someone while they were cooking me dinner. And they also enjoyed it. But they work in the medical field. Um, but yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. It was a nice telling of a story. So I enjoyed it and would recommend it for everyone because it's unique in its perspective and it's telling and I think it's worth checking out. So that's my review of When Breath Becomes Air. Um, more book reviews coming soon. Um, the goal for 2020 is to have one week, uh, one video for you all a week. Maybe not necessarily a book review, but one video a week. Also, if you've read this book, tell me your thoughts um, in the comment box below. I would love to know if you all have read it, if you're thinking about reading it. Also, what books are you reading um, this month? Let me know um, and what recommendations you may have also. Um, or what books you would like to see me review. So that is it. That is all for me. I hope that everyone is having a great month and I will see you all soon as always. And so next time, remember to give time time and to have the best day of your life on purpose. Peace. Also, for those of you inquiring, I do still... I do still have buttons, my Ms. Malcolm Hughes pins, and the details on how to get those are below. <laughs>